Good morning! It is April 9th. It is Thursday. Um, it is morning. It is a.m. Uh, I would like to give you another tour of the greenhouse. So, um, a lot has changed since the last video. We uh, are cheating and we bought some uh, tomato plants here, right? And we bought some rosemary. Um, the seedlings that you see over here are all seedlings from seed, germinated from seed. That's my idea when I had this whole thing, was to have the the seeds grown in-house, but um, you know, we're kind of so excited that we wanted to get plants to grow. So um, over here, here's our system over here, okay? We have some of our cheating plants and some of our uh, seed plants. We have um, our oregano, our thyme, our mint, our parsley, two of them. We have our sprouts right here, bean sprouts, um, sugar snap peas, I'm sorry and uh, jalapeno, habanero, strawberry, cucumber, okra, um, cilantro, two of those, cherry tomatoes from seed, um, our strawberries over here, they got a little bit of a yellow tint to them and I, I think what's going on is we have an iron deficiency here so we're going to treat our plants with that. Um, we have some cilantro right there. Um, we have some dill, uh, and here's our uh, two different types of tomatoes here that we're going to be growing. And let me see if I missed anything. Um, some basil that did not grow, and then some red peppers. Um, if I want, if you would like to see the fish down here, our fish are growing nicely. Um, I would say, I don't know, uh, two inches, three inches, something like that. Um, we have 50 goldfish. Um, we still have only lost one goldfish, and that was in the first week. Uh, we had a pretty hard freeze. That's probably what killed it. Um, and then we have two algae-eating fish. Um, so the algae-eating fish, we are gonna transfer over to this system over here. Hey, coach. How's it going? Thank you for the table. So we are building a complicated system here. What is going on here is we're gonna move this over here in the corner and that's going to be our fish tank. We're going to cut this a little bit smaller and we're going to make that a sump pump, right? And so we're going to switch these two around. Um, we are setting up these tables here for media beds and for uh, deep water culture, which uh, means the plant roots are going to be dangling in the water. So that should be awfully interesting. We're going to have a sump system. Um, we would like to add crawfish to the sump. That might be a pretty good idea. So um, what's going to happen is gravity is going to take the water all the way down from the fish tank to the media bed and then all the way down to the deep water culture bed and from the deep water culture bed it is going to drain into the sump and then the sump is going to have a pump in it and the sump pump is going to pump all the water back into the fish. Um, I am working on tilapia. Uh, we uh, are going to be adding uh, one inch or two inch uh, tilapia, maybe 50 or 75 of them in both tanks. Um, oh, also we got a sunshade. Um, we decided that we probably, it would probably be a bad idea this Texas summer um, to uh, enclose the entire greenhouse with the, this membrane here because um, it actually got fairly warm just with the membrane over uh, the two walls and the, and the roof. Um, so we added a sunshade to kind of uh, take the burn, take the sting out of the, um, uh, the strong light uh, in the full sun. Um, so we're going to operate like this during the summer and then uh, uh, towards the end of fall uh, we're going to add the membrane to both sides and we're going to enclose this thing. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, we'll be working on our more complex system in the next week, week and a half, something like that. Um, and I think we could possibly have some tomatoes in the next week or two. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know.